this is Euphoria Music. Just wanted to bring you a workaround for this new Logic Pro X. Uh, since it doesn't work with 32-bit um, plugins, there's a couple of workaround workarounds um, in order to get your 32 plugins like Silent to start working into Logic Pro X. This is the one that I found that was a little it takes a little bit of setup but it's actually it works pretty much seamlessly once you get it to work um, it's using these two plugins I'll show you really quick you're gonna have to have a meta plugin um, and they have a Mac version um, where you'll end up you install it and then you just drop the components and the VSTs into the right places and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit you'll also need a JBridge which is a easy setup plugin, very small files for both of these plugins um, you install these and then you drop the files into the right place and it'll all work inside of Logic um, another thing you might need is going to be the F expansion VST to AU adapter um, all of these plugins not really expensive uh, really, see, they seem to really work well um, with no problems in it. So just to demonstrate that I do have Logic Pro X working in here and that these plugins are working and I have a whole bunch of plugins in here I'm glad that I found this so that I can get um, all these 32-bit plugins that still haven't been updated to 64-bit to work inside Logic. So here's Silent and completely works. Um, this is the J Bridge. So you actually have to um, load up Meta plugin, and these are all demo versions. So it doesn't actually save. Um, say you can't save it as a preset unless you actually buy it, which is only thirty-nine dollars. So I've already made my purchase. I'm just waiting for it to go through so I can go ahead and start saving all the plugins I need to use with this bridge um, automatically and just load them up into Logic Pro. So this is some of the GUI here for the um, J bridge and uh, just to show you really quick before I get into how to install all these and put the things in the right files um, I'll delete that take this out so all I did was start out with the regular software instrument Go into AU MIDI Controlled Effects, DDMF, Meta Plugin, it's Stereo. It'll have this automatically coming up. And all you have to do is right click, hit Load Plugin. I already have these uh, installed or um, found by Meta Plugin, so it just automatically brings it up. Or you can go to Load Plugin and you can go to plugins which is all going to be under your library your library which is going to be under your username so you have to go to user your actual user with mine is TDP music um, library audio plugins VST because it's going to load it up you'll have to change your AUs to VST and I'll show you how to do that and then these are going to be plugins that are bridged uh, for the VST host so these are all my 32-bit plugins, and I'll load up Silent again, hit open, wow, there it is there. You're going to drag your MIDI input, which is from any keyboard that you have, and then drag it to the audio output. From here, if you want to see the actual GUI or the goods of uh, Silent, you just double-click it. It's a demonstration, so it's not going to save it. As a as a automatic plugin, but here this is the first thing that's going to pop up, and you can mess with these if you're having issues running it and it's not being that smooth. You can mess around with them and that'll help it. Anytime the GUI for Silent gets lost, you just hit "Hey, where's the GUI?" Bring it right up, and you can actually move this to the side or wherever you want to put it and we have it right here and I'll load one of my banks so for some reason in mine 
when I try to use just a regular initial patch that loads up, it won't work. I want to play with some fart bass. <laughs> So there you go. It's working. All the audio is going straight into there. And from here, you can start. You, another thing with this plugin, you can actually make a whole entire chain. So say you want to do silent. Let me delete these cables here. Actually, load another plugin up. Let's say I want to put the AP EQ in there. Have it run into the AP EQ. So initially, you can pretty much do the sound. You can make the sounds different before it even gets into Logic. So you can load up multiple plugins with this. Of course, this pops up again. So you have to hit your hey, where's the GUI? There it is, there, front and center. And you can sculpt your sound. So you can sculpt your sound before it even gets into logic, which is something really nice. Multiple plugins before you're even putting any audio effects plugins on there or anything and then you can start tearing up the sound even more so it's really great all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this and I'm gonna tell you how to set it up I'm gonna show you step by step how I got this to work the first thing we're gonna do is get JBridge um, for the Mac uh, JBridge is gonna you can Google it and uh, come up here, J stuff. It's just a WordPress.com page. Um, so when I get this, we made a Mac version for it for OS X. Um, just gonna download it, and what this uh, does, pretty much, it just um, makes it possible to run 32-bit VST plugins in 64-bit VST host. And since um, Logic Pro X doesn't support VSTs, of course, they uh, they can only support AUs. Um, and most plugins that you can download do come with a VST and an AU version. And it automatically installs when you install the plugin. You can actually use this to bring up your 32-bit plugins inside of Logic Pro X. And, uh, here they show uh, Silent and some other plugins being used. So... You just go ahead and download it completely free. Um, this is the demo, and really you don't need to. Uh, for me, so far, I haven't seen a reason to to buy it. I don't know what other extra perks you get um, with the full version, other than being able to update. So you just go ahead and download that 0.76, um, and then the other plugin you're going to have to download. You can either buy this is the one that I actually bought, just waiting to get my new one. And uh, it's going to be a DDMF Meta Plugin. And you're going to want to download this also. They have a Mac version. Um, you can do the demo, which doesn't save. But um, this is really great. So you can do VST and AUs. You can open anything up pretty much. All right, so you want to download that. Here I already have them downloaded. I actually have this all installed, so I'll go ahead and just show you what what places to put your files in, because that's where I started coming across a problem. I would upload, I would uh, open up Logic Pro X, and I couldn't find where the hell Meta Plugin was at. Um, before we get into Meta Plugin, JBridge. Let's start with JBridge. JBridge is actually going to be the first step you need to do. So let me see where I thought I had it up. Oh, here it is. So when you, after you install JBridge, it's only like a few kilobytes of space. Um, it's going to come like this when you open it up. So by default, it's going to scan VSTs only inside of your um, 
inside of certain folders and it may not find the plugin that you're looking for so the what I did and you're bridging 32 bit plugins not the 64s your 64s are already working but if you want to do both you can but I just said don't scan the directories mentioned above I want to choose some plugins only and then the second step um, you just choose the VST architecture so since Logic Pro X is 64 bit you're gonna hit that alright so after you hit that you're pretty much going to navigate to your actual hard drive that you're using library audio plugins and you have to choose VSTs the VST versions of your plugins so you choose whichever ones you want to and, uh, as long as it's VST Now let's just say that and then you would hit open all right once you hit open I'm not going to hit it because I've already scanned all the ones I need um actually well, I'll just do it again just so that y'all can see exactly I've seen a lot of videos trying to show me things where I couldn't end up finding out I couldn't find out what steps they were missing so I had to find out on my own so let me get all of these even though Omnisphere is already 64-bit. Um, just bear with me. So let's just say I wanted to go with those. Okay, open. And then it's going to start processing it. It doesn't take too long depending on the size of the plugins. And after this, it's actually going to tell you where it saved these plugins at. So when you open up Meta Plugin in, uh, in Logic Pro X, you know exactly where to go to find it. All right, so for mine, they were placed inside of my user, TDP Music, Library, Audio, Plugins, VST, and then the special folder, Plugins, Bridge for 64-bit VST Host. So that's where they're going to be at. Then you'll close out of that. And for Meta Plugin, in order to put it into the right places, you have to open up your Finder window. This is going to be it's going to be like in the Install folder. Um, you're not going to be able to find your library that's at your user because for some reason um, Apple decided to hide that folder so people wouldn't delete important files but in order to get into it and to drop your plugins which is what you're going to have to do in order to get this to work um, here's what I found out you have to do so when you bring up your finder window hit go and then hit alt you don't see library in here and then you hit alt and you press and hold it there it is so you click that it brings it up here and it's still grayed out and then you go into audio plugins we're going to put the component into the component. Of course, that's where your AUs go. Meta plugin synth, you're going to put that, the VST, into your VST folder. And you're all set. That way, JBridge can find it and Logic Pro can find it. Alright, and your VSTs, the AUs. I'm not sure if I use that or not, but let's go into it right now. All that is put in there. Still got to install those. and you open your empty project software instrument Use my other software instrument you're gonna change it to AU MIDI control effects DDMF they found it in stereo I'm just gonna 
load up massive in here. Throw the leaves in. And already got some signal going through it. Now we just want to see the GUI. And to that. We got everything. So you're all set there. Alright, well and that's pretty much it. And you're all set to work. So if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment. I'll try to get back to everybody that I can. I know this is a huge issue with uh, the new Logic Pro X, so I'm trying to help out people because I had people help me out. So, um, hit me up. Alright, thanks y'all.